This is LeBron James. And today, what's on my mind is my mind. A lot about basketball and life in general. It's about being in the moment. I can recall one moment in particular when mental focus made the difference. It was 2012. And it was game three of the NBA Finals. I'm sitting on the bench during a timeout. And I'm taking a rest before heading back into the game. To prepare myself, I wasn't doing ice packs or quad stretches. I wasn't having a trainer do soft tissue work on my shoulders. In that critical moment, I sat for 30 seconds and I meditated. People talk a lot about my physical fitness. They see the 16 seasons in the NBA, well now 17. They see how I'm still going strong and they want to know how I'm doing it. They want to know about my crazy training regimen and my diet. They want to know how I optimize my body. What gets talked about less is how I optimize my mind. And it's just as important. That's what I was doing on that timeout in 2012. I was gathering my thoughts and checking my emotions so I could approach the moment with a clear mind. There's physical fitness and there's mental fitness. Physical fitness means strength, agility, and endurance. It means stuff like ground speed and air time. But what does it mean to be mentally fit? For starters, it means presence. No matter what I'm doing, my attention is locked. It means awareness. I can see my surroundings with clarity, and I can calculate my options. It means calm and composure in those big moments when the pressure's on. It means resilience. I face a setback, and I show up fresh the next game, the next quarter the next possession. It means I walk into a room, I step on the court, and I'm at ease. I'm prepared, relaxed, and ready. And this isn't just about basketball. It's about life. That's what mental fitness means to me. And that's what this collaboration with Calm is all about. So we're going to spend some time together you're going to learn about one of my most valuable skills. One that I don't often share. We're going behind the scenes to look how I prepare myself emotionally and mentally. We're going to talk habits, techniques, and the tools of mental fitness. We're going to get into topics like creating discipline, holding focus, rising above the noise, and living like a champion. And I'm going to tell you some stories from my career and my life. My goal is to share a few lessons I've learned over time. This isn't coming from a place of me having all the answers. I'm still learning and I'm still growing every day. I like to say that the best teacher in life is experience. So think of it this way. I'm just a guy who's had a lot of different experiences, including some really unique ones. That's what this is about. Sharing some of what I've learned through adversity, through success, and failure through wins and losses on and off the court. I'm hoping you walk away with some tools you can use. Maybe those help you overcome whatever's keeping you down or holding you back. Maybe they even help you live the greatest version of your own life. That's my hope. We're going to kick this off with a session on focus. And I'll take you inside one of my do or die moments on the court. I'm LeBron James. Until next time, stay fit, body. Oh, LeBron James quiets the crowd.